All right, so finishing off 6.7, the fundamental theorem of algebra, um, you can sit down and you can use, um, you know, finding the uh, rational zeros and try to figure it out by hand. Another nice way to find out what the answers are for these problems is actually a little simpler than that. Um, what you can actually do is you can use your calculator and not exactly how you think. Basically what I'm saying is you take this equation right here and you just plug it in. So when you plug it in, you go to y equals. We're actually going to graph it. And when you type this in, I want you to type in x with a little caret sign and then a 4 minus 2x with a little caret sign for the 3 minus x, then you can just press squared, minus 2x minus 2. As you do that, press graph. So yeah, you got to use the calculator to find the roots. Um, so I already taught you here how to type it in, so you have it in. And you press graph. And you press graph, and you see that the curve kind of looks like a parabola with a little hookup in it, which is fine, right? Um, but here's what you do. Basically, when you're doing this and you're solving, you want to find wha where everything crosses the x-axis. Well, we solve and we find what x equals x equals is basically what we're trying to find. We're trying to find where that value is at the x axis. So really all you need to do is you get your calculator and we're looking for the real solutions. So the point is I want you to press second and trace. And when you go to second trace we can look for the zeros. When you go to zeros press zero and you'll have this blinking dot on your screen that says left bound. What I want you to do is I want you to go to the left of the first point the first, uh, the far, far left point there that is crossing the x-axis and press enter. After you press enter it says right bound. So go a little below where it crosses the x-axis and press enter again and when you do that you end up with x being negative 0.73. Well, if you notice it crosses at two spots, right? It doesn't cross just at one spot on the x, it actually crosses at two. So the point I'm getting at is you also have to make sure that you get the other ones. So you press second trace again go down to zero and when you go it says left bound again but now to the left of that point is actually below the x-axis so I press enter the right of that point is actually above the line press guess and we figure out that x is 2.73 so we got our answers as x is negative 0.73 and x is 2.73 so those are two answers, but it's to the fourth power, meaning how many answers should there be? Well, there should be four because it's the fourth power. So what that means is two solutions could be repeated or we might have some imaginary solutions in there is basically what that is saying. So example five says, for one group of people, it was found that a person's score on the Harvard step test was related to his or her amount of hemoglobin X in grams per 100 milliliters of blood by the following model. Well, here it is. Here's our equation. The normal range of hemoglobin is 12 to 18 grams per 100 milliliters of blood, approximately the amount of hemoglobin for a person who scores 75. So we take that, but I make it a 75 because that's what the score is. I go and subtract to get everything on one side. This, a problem like this, especially dealing with decimals, this is my recommendation. I recommend graphing it by using the calculator. So you go to y equals and clear all that. We're going to type this in first. So negative 0 0.015 uh, x, press the x, caret sign 3, plus 0.6 x, then press squared, minus 2.4 x minus 56 and press graph and you get a graph that you might need to zoom out on to see where everything is so if you go to zoom press zoom go down to zoom fit which is number zero there on the calculator and let's see if we can get it to fit and now you can kind of see where it crosses on one side so you have to do what you did before press second trace and go to zeros and let's find the zeros out to see where they cross so once you go to second trace we're going to find out where the zeros are and that's the left and right bound again so press left bound above the line 
then press right bound below the line and when you take a guess you should get negative 7.34 as one of the answers now we have to move the graph over so zoom out go to zoom and go to zoom out so we can see actually where it crosses the graph at and if you notice when you see the zoom out the graph is actually crossing at more than just um, two points it's actually crossing as I can see right now at three so we need to go and hit second trace again go down to zero and we want the left bound again which is below the axis so I press enter go up above where it's crossing and press enter again for the right bound to take a guess and we get 16.4 as another number where it's crossing I go to second trace again because it's crossing at another point so I hit zero again and the left bound is now above the next one and it is also below I guess the point again and I have 30.92 and let's zoom out one more time just to make sure that I'm not missing any points and that's the only spot that it's crossing at so the actual roots that we get like I said were negative 7.3 uh, 16.4 and 30.9 so what it's saying is um, since 16.4 is the only one in the range between 12 and 18, then that is the answer choice for this one. Because before it said we are looking for something in between 12 and 18 grams, and the 16.4 is the only answer in between the 12 and 18 grams. So there is your homework. If you have any questions, please email or go on to the Moodle site.